guys so today we're outside and that is because we are doing tie-dye today so those kits that i got from the shopping hall from target i believe uh we are doing those today so let's get set up and started excuse my dogs even outside we can hear them okay so the kits we have are this one and this one these are both the same brand just different colors they both do nine projects they are by tulip and this one has rose pink lime this one has pink lime teal and violet and this one has yellow fuchsia green and turquoise and then this one um is by fashion angels and this also has a tank top in it but brooke wants to do a t-shirt today and this has four colors as well it has blue mint to be don't make me blush and lovely lavender and then we have two packs of t-shirts one for brooklyn and one for royce and then i am dying my favorite shirt that is dingy and is seen better days and has stains on it so i'm just going to turn it into tie-dye so i can still wear it and not look like trash okay so let's get the stations set up and then we will get into the dye. okay so i got the instructions ready it says to first determine the wattage of your microwave mine is a low wattage um then it says to soak your fabric either pre-wash your 100 percent cotton garment and leave damp or soak in a container of water for at least two minutes for the cotton fibers to completely absorb the water bring out excess water okay so we're gonna soak all of these then it has you tie and secure with rubber bands and then add room temperature water to the dyes um to the fill lines and then i guess shake yeah shake vigorously for at least one minute until dye powder has completely dissolved and then you apply the dye and then you microwave it okay so we're gonna soak all these shirts that we're going to be using we're just going to do one of each for right now um just for this video and then um we'll get to tying and i'm going to actually fill the dye off camera and i'm going to do that in the meantime while all of these shirts are soaking all right so the shirts are prepped they're damp and the dyes are all mixed. So we're just gonna do one more ring out of this. Make sure that all the water's all good now. And I dyed my hand. Then we're gonna take it and take the rubber bands. So I'm gonna put this one here and then I'm gonna pan you down so you can see what we're doing.
Okay, now we place them in here. So, Royce, can you bring me, Royce, bring me yours. I want to take it. We're going to put Royce's in here. It's kind of like those boxes when you order something and then yep. you don't want to eat it. Brooklyn. Anymore. And then mine. So for kids, you need to do three minutes and adults is three and a half minutes. This won't shut, mine's too big. I think I might do four with mine because mine's a long sleeve shirt and not a t-shirt. So let's get microwave in. All right, now it's time to see the first one. This one's Royce's. we go that looks cool huh it works yeah do you like that one i want to see mine yours is up next oh, time to open brooklyn can i do it i'll take it off and then you can i'll take the rubber bands off and you can open it It's a lot of white. Back up. That's a lot of white. It's on cute it. though. I know. Do you like it? Yeah. All right. Now, um, I'm still waiting for mine to cool, but uh, these need to be rinsed. I've already rinsed Royce's. I'm gonna rinse this one. You gotta rinse it until the water runs like clear. Can I and rinse then it? after oh, that, yeah. it needs to be put in the washing machine and just with a little bit of soap, just wash it. And then um, probably with cold water and then toss it in the dryer. And then we'll see what they look like dry. Mine. hot in some parts. Boop. Ow, it's really hot in some parts. I'm gonna hang this up and let it cool off before I let it, before I watch it. <laughs> and it didn't get the stain, oh my God. I think I might put a little bit of dye over the stain. I don't know, maybe I'll do that. Just put a tiny bit of dye over the stain and then there we go there we go now the stain's gone <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit cool off and then I'll rinse this one off and I might do a few more before I put them in the washer and dryer so you might see more than three at the end but We'll see, but this turned out really cute. I like it. All right, so they are finally all done and my hands are filthy. I can't get it off. The kids swam uh, right after doing theirs and uh, all the dye came off their hands. I can't go underwater in the pool because of my hair, but I did try soaking them in the pool for like a couple minutes and that didn't work. I would probably have to be there and for like an hour like they did, but at least their hands are clean and their feet, so. But I did several more. Um, let us let me just go through, okay, this is the first one that I did for me. This is my pink hoodie, my love pink hoodie that I love, but I wanted to get, oh my gosh, and it, it covered it, but <laughs> you can still see the stain through it. Not as bad. But um, yeah, I, I pretty much love how this one came out. It was looking very dingy and, but it's my favorite. It's so comfortable that I wanted to salvage it. So I tie dyed it. 
So that is how that one looks. Let's see, the first one, the first one, these need to go back in the dryer for a little bit longer because they're still damp. Okay, this one is Brooklyn's first one. There's a lot of white on this one. Okay, so we didn't realize that the last kit um, with the pastel colors is different. You don't microwave those. So you put them on the shirt and then you let it sit for at least four hours. It says for brighter colors to do it overnight. So that's what I'm doing. That one's wrapped in plastic and that one's outside sitting there overnight. So I can show you that one in a community post. Um, but yeah, so she put a lot of those colors on this one and that's why a lot of it is white because they just washed right out. But yeah, she said she likes it and I did make her a few more that she really likes. So, um, let's see where Boyce's first one is. That's not his first one. That's not his first one. This one. Okay, so this is Royce's first one. And he really likes this one. I did use one of the pastel colors on this as well, which is why no colors showed up on the inside. But yeah, that's his first one. Okay, now moving on. For myself, I did a pair of socks. These white socks I got um, from somewhere, but I hated them because they were just white and ugly. So I tie dyed them and now I will most likely be wearing these because they are so cute now. But I just did a whole bunch of pinks, a purple and a blue. Then for Brooklyn, I did this one, which she loves. This is another spiral. This came out a lot better than the other one because I didn't use any of the pastel colors. Then for Royce, I did this one where I just, um, I tied it like I did a spiral here and I did a spiral down there. And that's how it came out. I love this one. Then this is Brooklyn's last one besides the tank top that's outside. But this one, okay, so I did, I just tied here, tied here, tied here, tied here, tied, and then I just did like kind of like stripes. So that's how that one came out. Then Royce's last two, I did the same thing with the stripes here. And then the last one, I just tied these in just did knots in random spots. And that's how this one came out. This one's actually my favorite of his. I love that one. Now I do have a little bit of dye left, which I did save it. I don't know how long it keeps for, but just in case we want to do a couple more shirts, there are, uh, each kid has two of those undershirts left. So maybe that'll be a project for another day, but yeah, that is all. I love how it came out. So I'm excited. But that's everything. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Bye.